I have a 1995 Honda Accord and it recently got a check engine light and it only comes on whenever I start the car cold after it's been sitting all night then whenever I drive it around turn it off park get back in it turn it on again check engine light doesn't come on I took it to AutoZone to see if they could do the the little test that they do for the uh, the check engine light codes and I learned that my car has what's called an OBD1 connector which means that they can't use their OBD2 connector tester to check my my error codes. Now most cars from 1996 and up have what's called an OBD2 connector and my car doesn't have that because it's a 1995 and it's a 1995 four cylinder. Only the V6's for the 1995 Honda Accords had the OBD2. So other than taking it to the dealership or taking it to a repair shop to get them to check it and God knows how much they charge me, um, I did some research on the internet and I found how to check it without using you know the hundred dollar, two hundred, three hundred dollar machine that you have to buy. And this is how we check it. I had to take off the glove compartment which is was right here and is now sitting right there you'll see this little blue thing right here well that is what we need all you gotta do is squeeze it pop it thing comes right out this is what we're looking for the bottom of it will look like this if you want to crawl up into your dashboard that is what you'll see we're looking for the two pin connector you'll see that there's three on this one there's two wires on this one we're using the two wire one so just pull that out of there and this is what we're going to use all we need to do is get something that we can we'll call it shorting it out but we're basically going to create a jumper between terminal number one and terminal number two now you can see i've jumped it right there and i just used a, a very short piece of speaker wire and now we just leave that and we're going to go over to our ignition. Now what we don't want to do is turn the car on. We just want to turn the car to the number two position. Now once we turn the car to the number two position, keep an eye on the check engine light which is right here. You'll notice that it does a series of blinks. Slow blinks and fast blinks. So what you want to do is count the number of slow blinks and fast blinks. One, one, two. One, one, two. If there were multiple codes in the system, it would cycle through all of the codes and then it would start over. Slow blinks, then flat fast blinks. Slow blink, fast blink. And each one of those is a code. On this one, there was only one code and it was the number 12. The number 12 code for this car is the EGR error. It's basically exhaust gas recirculation. Now what that means is that there is a valve called the exhaust gas recirculation valve in the engine. I'm not necessarily going to show you how to fix it, but I'm going to show you what the problem is. You can see our engine compartment. Here's where our spark plug wires are. Here is our EGR valve. The manifold underneath this strip right here is what we're going to have to take out and clean. That's the work we're looking at. 